Okay. Sometimes I don't like this thing. You have, see how I can move it around? <laughs> um, and I have to keep an eye on it or it will shut off. I made many videos to where it just shut off and I was like, oh, forget about it. <laughs> so, um, I just want to talk because, oh, let me stretch. Oh my goodness, this has been on my mind for a while, actually. Uh, and it seems like it's been on a lot of people's minds um, as well. Just like the Lord keep showing me and a sister, me and a couple of sisters, actually. Um, just like that's where the Lord just keeps hitting home, like Christ in me, Christ in me. Christ in me, Christ in me, <laughs> over and over and over again. Never gets old. It just gets old to the human mind because our religious flesh wants to rise up and say, oh my gosh, that's so basic. That's so this, that's so that. Move on, move up, move up in the grade. <laughs> and this is the reality. That is the Christian life is Christ in me Christ in me um, when you have for, when you have realized well first of all let me just say this the boasting that we have is only in Jesus you want to know why <laughs> the other day I'm going to tattle tell on myself. Well, really, just now. But the other day, I ordered some something in the mail, right? And knowing very well that the price was $29.97, but I ordered it for $26.97 because I put, I was, I put, I'm going to subscribe to your to your item so that I can get it either monthly or every three months so that I can get a discount when I check it out, right? <laughs> Knowing dang well <laughs> I'm not about to order that product every other month or every two months. So I just realized I canceled it actually before making this video. Wow! Shame on us, right? So that's why we don't look to ourselves. You see what I'm saying? We do these things. We, we, we do many things in our lives. But the Lord's plan for us will prevail. Our plans won't. The Lord's plans will. Okay. I want to talk. I'm unloading some, uh, some things or whatever. But I just want to say, like, that's why... You know, it's so important to recognize that it's not you that's going to do X, Y, and Z. It is Christ through you, in you. He is for you. You know, that's why it's no longer I. It's no longer you. <laughs> it's Christ in you. So let me just tell you a little story, another embarrassing moment in my life, right? Um, because again, we don't have a reputation. We, it's not about us. And until people realize that, they're going to have a hard time in their life trying to do oh, oh, X, Y, and Z. Mm, make sure, make sure, make sure, do this, do that. Bum, bum. It's not like that. It's not like that. We are free indeed. And when, it, and when God set us free, we are free indeed. For real. Like for real. That raises up the religious and gets them heated. Why do I know that? Because it raises my religion. <laughs> it raises my flesh up. And it says, oh yeah? You bad such and such, whatever's 
but it listen two years ago I got off the internet for a lot of reasons a lot of reasons a lot of reasons okay there was a lot of personal things that were happening personally personally but also just I needed a break I needed to just sit still with the Lord <clears throat> Nobody's here, silly dog. Um, but I um I was going through such a horrid time. Let me uh let me go sit on the porch. All right, I wanted to come on the porch so I don't have any um interruptions and plus I need to take a break. I was kind of working earlier, but anyway, I needed some water. <laughs> Uh, so, when I came away from YouTube, it wasn't even like the disgust at that time or anything like that. It was more for myself, and I praise the Lord. I praise the Lord for it. So, in that time, it was like what I, now what I grew in and I'm still growing in it. I have not arrived. Nobody has arrived. But we will always grow in God's grace and his love and his goodness. But anyway, um, so what he had me to do was, first of all, I couldn't do anything. Um, we were going through, oh my gosh, it felt like torment. It felt like. I was rushed to the hospital a couple of times. Uh, we, the remodeling was just going crazy. This and this and this and that and that and this and this. And then God in the meantime showing me and sending me songs and refreshing me through it all. But it was so, it was like horrible. But God was coming through for me. And all I could do was just sit on the floor. And all I could do was just praise his name. And all I could do was just be quiet and be still. And... He showed me in those moments he showed me that that's living in Christ growing a dependence on him growing in relying on him Christ in you growing in his love for you and that's why I was talking about that's why like like before I came off, I just went off on talking about Ephesians 3, which I still can't get out of, which I believe that's pretty much the main focus of a, of a Christian in the Christian's life is to focus on God's love for you. That's all you can do. And it was like I was just going hard on it because it was like the Lord couldn't get me out of like I couldn't get out of it and so that's all I could speak that's all I could speak you know it's God's love for you God's love for you God's love for you God's love for you over and over and over again and you would think that it would get tiring but it wasn't it was actually refreshing me it was renewing me it was I was it was like strengthening me, you know? And so then I got off, right? And it was like, boom, <laughs> hardcore, you know? And you, I guess you can say that's a type of discipline, but it's a discipline of showing you to rely and depend on Jesus more. That's his discipline. His discipline is not throwing swords at you or whipping the hell out of you or sending you in time out in a closet and slamming the door in your face no no <laughs> no nope God's discipline is to show you Christ in you that's living Christ right I do feel like it's for me I'm hard-headed um, 
I am hard-headed. I'm hard-headed in real life and I'm hard-headed spiritually. And so he knows that and every child is different. And so he will, t he will never get tired of taking that child through the same teachings over and over and over again um, until you get it because he's that loving. Oh my gosh, he's that caring. He's that kind. He's that, he's that good. Um, wow. Yes and amen. Thank you, Father. He never leaves his children broken, even through the brokenness of it all. He carries his kids, but I so feel led to get back on and talk about Christ for you, Christ in you, Christ through you. Because that's where it's at. That's life. That's real life in Christ. It's not, it's, it's not going, it's not getting on and it's not telling people what they should do or how they should do it and what they should do when they should do it if they don't do it to their expectations then they've not done it oh my gosh no like no um so yeah i can't speak about nothing else and i know that he's talking i know that he's um because again i've talked to a couple of sisters and i was like whoa this is it that's it. Um, it's not, it's not kindergarten. It's not little kid stuff. It's Christ. Well, you know what? Let me say this. It is kid stuff because we're kids in Christ. <laughs> we're children in Christ. We're ambassadors in Christ. We are his beloved. We are, we are his children so it is a beautiful thing when people say oh you know this this is that and that and this listen it's all about it's how you say that it's like people get messed up with words all the days but it's real simple it's not hard his yoke is easy and it's and his burden is light and I, I feel like sometimes in order for you to understand that, you really, he, ha, he, you have to go through the experiencing it for yourself. Um, because, you know, but I will definitely continue to talk about it. But that's all I can talk about. That's all. I, I can't go anywhere else. I don't want to go anywhere else. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So anyway. Anyway, guys, I love to hear you guys sing. Thank you, Brother Christopher. Thank you. And just everybody. All my brothers and sisters. I love the way you worship the Lord. Sing write music, express yourselves. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. And I look forward to that because we are to fellowship and come together and be together. And even if we're not, even if we don't come together, we're, just, we're still together spiritually, but praise God for that too. You know, separation can happen in the physical. And sometimes separation is a good thing because you know you have to have healthy boundaries but thank god you're not separated in the household of the lord <laughs> praise god we're all going to be seated together at the marriage at the marriage supper so yeah i just like i said i've been thinking about this for a little while but i i, I want to speak on it because it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. But I love you guys.